right, folks. I'm going to the scrapyard. It's the day after the fall. I still have a wrap on my hand. It feels a little bit better. I'm going to glove up with the big winter gloves because the scrap ones here will not fit over this. And I, as I said yesterday, I'm going to make a compromise. All that extruded aluminum that I got at the pickup that's got garbage on it, I will take the garbage out of that. That will stay in the truck today. Everything else is going out on the shred pile. All the aluminum, the dirty aluminum, and the sheet steel, all going out on the shred pile today. So, see it to scrap here. Dump out some junk.
to do that. There you go. Steel. We go back at Christmas lights. Uh, it's not big, but. Yeah. 
There's keys in here and stuff. Okay. This is staying in the truck.
sure that's stale. Yep. picture at the end. It's already bleeding through, see that? But I wanted to come and get this done. Uh, Pants are sticking to the road burn. This is the part of the video where after I'm done there, and I've done that twice, I show you this, and then I tell you I have to go into the pay office. Okay, and take you in there. So, as soon as I get this, we'll be back together. All right, folks, down at the pay office, I got this. What do I got? Uh, uh, 51 beans. That's right, count it 50 and a one. <laughs> Mine saves. All right, folks, that's it for the scrapyard run today. I might, depends on how I feel in the morning, I might do a non-ferrous run over here. Uh, take this box of goodies, take some of that stuff in the back. I might just, I don't know. What I might do is spend tomorrow cleaning that breakage to turn it into clean uh, extruded. I still can't get over this stuff. This was a gift from above, no doubt. It's like one thing passes on to another, right? One man's gift from another man's trash, right? Isn't that the saying? One man trash is another man's treasure. So, yeah. I love to everyone, everywhere. I want to thank each and every one of you, anybody and everybody that gave me prayers and concerns and worries about what happened to me and if I'm okay. I appreciate that so much. I have to tell you though, my wife took care of me when I got home, it was beautiful. She took care of me, we put some peroxide on there, got it cleaned out, put a bandage on it. And then I showed her the footage of me falling. And that was her payoff for helping me out. She laughed for like five to 10 minutes straight. So she got to see the whole video, not just what all of you got to see in the big video. So that's another, <clears throat> another shout I'd love to give. Thanks to all of you, the viewers and the new subs. I, that is not why I did the video that way. It just happened that way. That giant pile, that one power, I got that, you know, I didn't take the buggy, that's what it was. I didn't take that buggy. That pile and the big one alongside the street, those were aces. And then the dog coming at me was just icing on the cake. Now, for those of you who are curious, dog did not bite me. It did come to me, but it did not bite me. In fact, by no means was it anywhere near vicious of any kind. It sniffed me. It sniffed my fallen camera. It sniffed my fallen hat. But I was still in shock and worry because I know animals can turn on a dime. And the woman of the house came out, but she didn't want to be on camera, so I didn't put her and the dog on camera. 
I have my suspicions why it doesn't matter. None of that is going to happen. All right. Okay, folks. I'm blabbing about me and the dog and the ladies that own the dog and me at the scrap yard and me what I'm going to do tomorrow. One more time. Thank you for coming along. I hope you got something out of the video. It's just me dropping junk off at the yard and complaining as usual. And, uh, but my love to everyone. And everybody, as always, have a wonderful, wonderful day.